body, put your hands together. Yeah. Here we go. Cause I can't let it. Something when you love me for me when you stop your fronting, girl. Love you every day, no stopping. Take you out to shopping, tell me what is popping, girl. I never shut, girl, I never shut. So I, you rise my temperature. Fall every woman like the perfect picture. If she willing to learn, I'm the perfect teacher. If you love me, baby, say yes. Keep on fronting, goodbye, stay blessed. Yeah, you really. Make me stay stressed Oh, I know that you do You already know Yeah! Hands up! Come on! I see it Oh, 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 oh Cause I can't let go Oh, 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 oh Oh, 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 do your worst of me Your love is like magic You know you're seven Stop playing hard to get My mind is made set I know exactly what I need You can't do no wrong To lead me on Knowing the love was gone So beautiful. Welcome to this fusion session with North Preston's own Keontae Beals, an award-winning, multi-talented R&B singer and songwriter. My name is Daniel Bartholomew Poyser. I'll be your host. I'm the artist in residence and community ambassador for Symphony Nova Scotia. 
In a minute, we're gonna have more music from Keontae, and then afterwards, we'll have a question and answer session. But first, I'd like to acknowledge that we are in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Thank you and enjoy. Thank you all so much for coming. I am so honored to be here. We're so honored to be here to perform for you all. This is my first time performing here at the Rebecca Cohen as a solo act. I'm so honored. A few years ago, I got the chance to perform on this very stage, though, with the Nova Scotia Mass Choir for the Martin Luther King Jr. Tribute Concert. And that was such an amazing, an amazing experience. And looking back now uh, and kind of seeing now, you know, God has just been so good to me, and I'm so grateful of everything. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We're going to have a good time. We got some good music. I see a lot of beautiful faces. This is uh, exactly the place I want to be on a Saturday. Let's go. This is Love of a Boy. Hey. Come on. Yeah. Don't be afraid to move. We dance around here. Yeah. Come on. Here we go. So how can I escape? This feeling's got me. Or am I all too late? Going all the time on the steady ground. so much. All right. If you couldn't tell already, I am uh, somebody who 
He's very in tuned with love. Wait now, do I hear people laughing or something? Y'all judging me out there? Or what? What's going on? <laughs> so love is definitely one of my favorite topics to write about. You know, my zodiac sign is a Scorpio. Do we got any Scorpios in the building? Let me see your hands. Wave them high. Yeah. Happy belated birthday to you. You know how it goes when it comes to love. They label us trouble. <laughs> so a lot of these songs come from my heart and about love. And this next song I'm going to do is called No Better. And I feel like the story is definitely pretty self-explanatory. But uh, it's not a good one. All right. This is No Better.
Thank you. Thank you. This is friends. Yeah. Can we get everybody snapping? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right. Here we go. for Chris, everybody. Yeah. Real quick, I want to introduce you to the crew. On keys, we got my boy Presh. Presh is fabulous. Come on. Give it up. On guitar, we got Chrissy and Eddie. Ready, y'all? Give it up. Come on. Yeah. On bass, we got Sean Downey. Sean Downey, everybody. And on drums, we got Joseph Lanty. Come on, give it up, everybody. Mr. Daniel in the back, my guy, yeah. And the beautiful symphony. Come on, everybody, give it up. Yeah, and once again, I am Keontae Beals. This is our last song. And this song is a song that I wrote last year. This is King.
hand up, keep strong, moving forward. No tears to cry till it's over. You got to be a grown man. I hope you can understand that. You can show emotion, baby. Your ten, trust me, world is crazy. You got too much for yourself. Can't worry about no one else. And you've got to stay all in your pride. Lay low and live your life. Find a wife, have a family. Anything else would be a tragedy. Go to church and make it work no matter how you feel. Disagree with what they say, it's just a deal. And remember to keep it real. Your feelings on a cover all emotion dead and gone. It was wrong from the start. It didn't matter what was said. I always had to feel that way. It doesn't matter what your skin color. It only matters what's within brother. Meanwhile, we're out there killing each other. Police brutality for all of us. Thank you so much once again. Thank you, interviews. God bless you all. All right, I'm here with Keontae Beals. That was an incredible performance. Ah, thank you thank so you much. So much. So. Thank you. As you all heard, you know, your songs are pretty powerful in terms of, you know, the topics that you address and where you go. How did that come to be in your music? Yeah, I feel like it was, honestly, I, I give kudos to my parents for sure. You know, I feel like they raised me all right um, <laughs> to kind of tackle the things that I believe in and um, to just kind of have a positive mind that not only tackling you know, tough topics, but also um, kind of looking for a resolution, you know, and I've been just doing that, you know, in my life, my private life, you know, in my public life and also through my music too. What would you say are some of the topics that you're passionate about? Definitely passionate about mental health. That's probably the biggest one for me. Um, I'm definitely passionate about my people, um, you know, people of African descent and uh, us being able to soar, soar in different ways. So th these are just topics, a few of them, yeah. uh, that I'm definitely super duper passionate about. 
So how does the mental health passion show up in your music? Um, so when it comes to mental health, you know, a song like King, where it talks about um, toxic masculinity and uh, how that shifts and changes, you know, based on being a black man, mm -hmm. you know, and in today's society. So just kind of touching base on things like that and then infusing it with R&B, which is, which is my favorite. Right. <laughs> and what sort of response have, have you received? Like, have you seen the, the mental health issues that you address have you, have you had a response from people saying that, yeah, that has helped them or, that, or anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. I think the most thing that I've seen is people's appreciation of even bringing up the topic and talking about it. You know, mm -hmm. people, especially in the black community, are afraid to touch base on, mm -hmm. you know, some of the things that are real. Like, um, we definitely see, of course, police brutality and, and things that happen outside of the community that, of course, affect the community. But I think there's also real topics, too, like um, black on black violence, you know, like some of uh, uh, the mental things that happen within the black churches. So it's just about bringing those conversations up mm -hmm. and people appreciate, appreciate that realness. Do you get pushback at all ever? I haven't had pushback from anybody in the community. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So it seems like people are probably quite on side with the message that you bring. Absolutely, out, yeah. Bring, must bring a lot of confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Actually. So being from North Preston, North Preston has its own sound, yeah. right? Can you, how would you just, you smile, how would you describe that? Oh my goodness. It's hard to, to describe, but I would definitely say it's like a more funky kind of vibe. Um, funky and bluesy type of vibe uh -huh. for sure. Uh -huh. 100%. <laughs> and where does that come from, would you say? I don't even know. I feel like it definitely stems from the church, though. The church is very, very uh, bluesy. For me, I was always taught that gospel music was the foundation um, of much of the music out here today in general, you know? Even having um, that connection to music and, and that drive to make people feel a certain way. For me, I learned that through gospel music growing up in the church and uh, believing in God and um, the things that he could do for me, for all of us, if we, if we believe and convey that message. Right, that's fantastic. So another format in which you are putting forward your message, and your messages, I should say, is through a storybook. Yeah. Can you just, just tell us about that? Because there aren't many people that are making music the way that you make music, you know, in studios and with orchestras and in church that are also making storybooks. So how did this come to be? Like, what's, it, well, what's the title and tell us about it. Yeah, so the title is I Am Perfectly Me. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it with my baby brother, Antonio Beals. So shout out to him. <laughs> uh, he was 10 years old at the time when we wrote it. Um, it took us about two years, but we basically wanted to um, reflect on people of all different colors or people of color in general mm -hmm. um, to kind of show that they're beautiful just the way they are. They're already perfect, you know, and to also just allow kids to know that too. And we actually got to go into some of these schools around Nova Scotia and do a kids tour and, uh, or a, a book tour and see some of the kids, you know, their reactions when we would say, <clears throat> I wear glasses, but my mom says they make me beautiful and kids wear glasses have smiles on their faces and they come up and they're like, you make me feel like I'm beautiful, mm. you know, because I had that and kids pick on me. It's almost acting as an anti-bullying um, serum. It's, it's, it's been incredible. That's a beautiful message. And amongst all the messages that you could have had as the title that you could have had as the, like leading that book, why did you pick that one? You know, it's, it's actually real interesting because we didn't actually have a title or any vision um, of what the book would be until we started creating the characters. Hmm. And each character were different, was different, you know, naturally without us even meaning to do so, that's just how we've been raised. Right. Um, so all of them were different. And once, look, once we looked at the book, we we're like, everyone's different and that kind of birthed everything, the concept and um, what we would name it and, and everything. Yeah. So what is next for you? Oh, my. So, okay, so I, I, I uh, created King, mm -hmm. the album, um, which is some of the songs that we just performed. Um, but right after King, I actually started recording another album. So I definitely have another album on the way. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's been done for over a year now. Okay. And it's very, very different, just like King was. <laughs> and I'm, I'm super excited about That's it. That's fantastic. It's be so we got another album. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll be sure to let you all know when that drops. It's been wonderful having you. 
uh, perform with Symphony Nova Scotia. What's it like being with an orchestra? How have you found that? It's been awesome, honestly, and to even like be there in person and see how you folks worked it out and um, just see how big the sound, like it really brought, brought a different feeling and view to mm. music that I created in my room over during quarantine. Like, it just blows my mind, man. Like, even my parents ask me the same question, and everyone's been asking the same question, and I don't even, it's almost like I don't even have words to describe what I actually feel. I'm just grateful, man. Amazing. Well, we're actually really grateful to have you perform with us, because the songs are so powerful, and they're so musical. Like, there's just so much in them, so it's really great. Thank you Testament so to much. you, to North Preston, and to the richness that's like in, that's in this community. So Thank you very All right. much. So thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for this fusion session. And we'd like to thank also the government of Canada and the province of Nova Scotia for their support of these fusion sessions. This is Keontae Beale.